This is another call from Mr. Uh, Kevin McGuire, the trafficker of government benefits and citizens' identities. Um, one of the uh, subordinates of Mr. McGuire calls to um, Mac, uh, Luisa Oyarsson and myself and say if they could um, if we could refax the uh, documents that we have faxed dozens of times uh, so they can connect her New York State Medicaid when we know for a fact that uh, they cannot connect her Medicaid because they have sold it to an illegal alien and other people who don't qualify for New York State Medicaid uh, and they have expensive cars, nice houses, expensive clothing and and they are not under the poverty level, uh, like Luisa Oyasun has uh, been for many years now, because they stole her New York State um, disability benefits for nine years, and they also have stolen her medical insurance now. This is the conversation. Ask him uh, uh, your that, name again. This is Solange Martinez, the caretaker of Luisa Oyarsun. What's your first name again? The first name of the uh, your name. My name is Solange. S as in Sam. Awesome. O L A N G E. Uh -huh. And your last name? Martinez. M A R T I N E Z as in zebra. Okay. And you're from where? I'm calling from Luisa Yarsun's house. She wants to know if uh, Mr. Commissioner is going to let her die without medical insurance. It's been nine hold months on one second, hold on. without it. Okay. Uh, you're, you're welcome, Sandra. Uh, as I was saying, Luisa Yarsun asked me to call you guys uh, to speak to Mr. Uh, McGuire because she has been without her medical insurance, uh, her nine years old uh, New York State Medicaid for nine months now. She hasn't had it for nine months and she has had pneumonia. She has currently um, an infection in her hemorrhoids. Everything is coming out and she needs to go to the doctor. Uh, and um, Mr. Kelly uh, called us a few weeks ago, about a month ago, and he said that um, the reason why uh, they did not connect her New York State Medicaid, which is nine years old, was that uh, they didn't have the medical bills that she had incurred. So I resent the bills, which we have sent many times without them being processed. And he said that he was going to um, uh, process the bills. The bills uh, were sent on the 29th of uh, January. It is now the 21st of February, and her Medicaid has not been connected. Now, Mr. Kelly, J. Kelly, doesn't answer our calls or any messages, and he's nowhere to be found. And the Medicaid is not connected. And uh, on the 19th of February, at about 1.30 p.m., uh, two uh, men in a tax in taxis tried to kill Luisa Oyarsun well, uh, while I was transporting her uh, and in my car, my little Toyota uh, Corolla. They were in two huge uh, Lincoln cars, uh, about eight cylinders cars, and they tried to hit us in the back and um, the other one was in the front and applied the brakes. They were going to crush uh, our, the car where Luis Yarsun was uh, traveling. Uh, why uh, is this happening? Does he know anything about that? Why will we know a criminal act like that? I don't know because people have been giving Luisa the run around uh, in connecting her Medicaid and then after that I heard a conversation of two stalkers that are always stalking me when I take Luisa Oyarsun to her physical therapist or to her doctors and I heard that they said that um, uh, Commissioner McGuire had two of his boys, quote unquote, try to get rid of Luisa Oyarsun uh, that day, the same day, but they didn't do so. Okay, and can you spell Lisa's last name to me? Oyarzun, O-Y-A-R-Z-U-N. 
these two stalkers were at a shop right uh, a supermarket and they were in a car uh, smoking cigarettes when I heard this conversation. Okay, is there a number where you can be reached? The number is 347 721 9255. 347 721 9255. 9255. Okay, I'll give them the message. Thank you so much, Sandra. You're welcome. Bye bye. Bye bye. After um, I left the message, we left the message uh, for Mr. McGuire, another one of his uh, employees, Mr. Brown, called and spoke Spanish saying uh, to call somebody else and leave uh, the problem, quote unquote, in a message, which we are sure uh, is not going to do any good as the other message has not have done. And here's the message. Professor Solange Martinez, how are you? Uh, yes, you called a few minutes ago and said, uh, uh, left a message for Luisa Oyarsson saying to call another one of Mr. McGuire's subordinates. And what's her name? That's the general number that all customers are calling now to report any situation that you have and they'll have the worker contact you back. Okay, I have a question uh, that Luis Ayasun asked me, and I don't know the answer for that either. Um, why is uh, Mr. McGuire passing the bucket around? Because he sent Mr. J. Kelly to contact Luis Ayasun and to tell her that he didn't connect her New York State Medicaid, which is nine years old, because they didn't have the incurred medical bills for Luis Ayasun. The incurred medical bills were resent because they were sent many times whenever processed. They were resent to to the to Mr. Kelly. Okay. Yes, I'm here. They were sent to Mr. Kelly, uh, and then Mr. Kelly stopped answering the question, the, the phone calls. No, I'm calling for Luisa Oyarsum. I'm her caretaker, and she's right here next to me. She wants to know why Mr. Kevin McGuire is passing the bucket around, because we, we sent those bills about a month ago, and the Medicaid still hasn't been connected. Forgive me, ma'am. Um, we don't do that here. Maybe you call and talk to somebody else, and uh, I'm the one who you should be talking to, so I'm going to look up the case. My name is Mr. Brown, and I need the customer's Social Security card number. On 89 Mr. Brown claims that uh, they don't do that here or there, quote unquote, as he states. However, then he uh, later uh, admits that he is. Uh, the one that works for uh, Mr. J. Kelly, his supervisor, and he was the one who told us to send um, the medical bills, to resend the medical bills that, wa that were many times sent uh, to that office. And then Mr. Brown lies, as they usually do, and say that, quote unquote, we don't do that here. So let's continue uh, to see how, how many lies he says during this conversation. And notice that he never uh, says that he's going to connect the Medicaid for Luisa Oyarsun uh, because uh, they have all the information and the bills that they need, uh, the documents that they need for it. Uh, and they ne he never says that uh, 
they are going to connect it. They they always use the phrase, uh, we'll see what I can do, let's see what can be done, but they never say that they are going to connect it since they know that the Medicaid has been sold to another person, an illegal alien, that does not qualify for it. Old, chronically ill epileptic patient Luisa Oyarzo. And she's a resident of where? She's uh, a resident at 34 Highland Avenue, apartment 2 Diaz in David, Yonkers, New York, 10705. I'm going to ask you to repeat the social security card number. It's not coming up. 0896 Four four eight eight. And you ring that from a social security card? Yes. That's the social security number that she has used uh, for nine years uh, with the Department of Social Service. All right. So are you reading that right now from the social security card? Yes. Not, she has one. Yes. Well, she's a USA citizen, so she must have one. Can you ask her? Can she produce the social security card here to you? Yes. I have I have it in front of me as I said three times. Okay, for Luisa or your zone has the Medicaid case active and it seems like she is required to complete a spend down every month. What is the issue? How can I help you? What the issue is that she has been uh, sending the medical bills that she incurred as the law stays for nine months. Uh, the bills were uh, don't get to be processed after she was threatened with uh, uh, not uh, having their bills, her bills processed because she uh, reported the trafficking of government benefits within the office of Mr. McGuire. And as retaliation, they didn't process the bill. On the, um, the 29th of February, 2014, of course, Mr. McGuire's subordinate, uh, Mr. Jake Kelly, called her and uh, said that the reason why, um, after we contacted the press, of course, the reason why uh, the Medicaid was not connected, because it was because the bills were uh, not uh, in the office, that he didn't have the bills. So he said to please send him the bills uh, and gave us a fax number. We sent the bills the same day, the 29th of February, of, um, I'm sorry, January of 2014. It is now 21st of February, almost a month later and the bills have not been processed. The Medicaid is not connected. And now Mr. Kelly, Mr. McGuire's subordinate, uh, doesn't answer the calls. He disappeared and he doesn't want to say anything regarding... When you say the subordinate, you're calling a particular number to reach someone? No, I'm not calling a particular okay. number. Mr. Jake uh, Kelly, as I said before, called Mr. Luisa Oyarsun and said that the reason why uh, oh, well, her was not connected uh, was because he didn't have the bills. I, I, I heard that, um, but you said you tried to reach somebody who is not picking up the phone. What number? Well, he said uh, to send him the bills. We did, and then after that, he, 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 he stopped answering the phone, and he doesn't answer the messages. Okay, so when you said send the bill, you fax something to us? Yes, I, I faxed it to Mr. Uh, J. Kelly. Uh, on the 29th of February, uh, to the fax number, the following fax number, 914-995-2112. And then he stopped answering the phone uh, and answering the messages. Hold on one second, let me ask you this. Hold on. Situation witness. Is there a customer? Is there a number you want me to call you or call the customer? Yes, call, call us uh, at 347- Seven two one nine two five five, and that's a landline, and it's always uh, available. Uh, and Luisa Oyarzun wants to know uh, something. She wants to know how many people is this going to be passed to before she gets uh, a chronic infection and dies? Because he has been passed. Uh, yes, he has been passed. He has been passed to many people and none of them connected her medication.
Okay. It's been nine months and she has a okay. she has a chronic illness. I get specific, I get her call. Excuse me? Solange Martinez, es a sin Sam, O L A N G E, Solange Martinez. And you're the caretaker, you said? Yes, I'm her caretaker, without being paid, because uh, many people have been taking checks for uh, supposedly taking care of her, but they, they don't even know her. She has never seen those people. This is the message that Mr. Kelly, his boss, uh, left. You have saved messages. First message from one nine one four nine nine five six zero two seven at eight forty seven a.m. January thirtieth. Hi, it's Mr. Kelly Social Services. It's about 8.45 on Thursday. Just want to let you know I received three separate faxes from you. hope that's what you sent. And they've already been forwarded to the supervisor and assistant supervisor to review if they're eligible to uh, try to apply to your spend down. So uh, if they need to give you a call, I supplied your number, and uh, we'll see where we go from here. Hope this is helpful. Thanks. To review this message, press 1. To save this message, press... Hi, it's Mr. Kelly Social Services. It's about 8.45 on Thursday. Just want to let you know I received three separate faxes from you. hope that's what you sent. And they've already been forwarded to the supervisor and assistant supervisor to review if they're eligible to uh, try to apply to your spend down. So, uh, if... As you can see, or as you could hear, uh, they did receive the fax, but they always lie and say that they didn't receive it, that somebody else has it, that uh, it was lost, and I keep on uh, resending, refaxes, re refaxing the same uh, documents, and they never get to uh, activate the uh, New York State Medicaid because they sold it, uh, simply because they sold it to an illegal alien. I wish this could stop and uh, Luisa Oyarzu could die in peace uh, receiving medical attention, medical treatment, uh, the medical treatment that an illegal alien is receiving in her stead, which is very unfair. 
after 22 years of hard work and paying her taxes and contributing to her Social Security uh, benefits fund. Macquarie's office and supervise their supervise his supervisees. He has to do that. I cannot go uh, to Mr. Macquarie's office and oversee his supervisees. He has to do that. I can just fax the documents. All right, I'm not sure. Is there anything else? We are not No. Uh, let me see. Do you want to know something else? Well, she wants to know. She wants to know if he's going to uh, give her uh, takes nine more months to connect her Medicaid because she has to go to the doctor. All right. So you will receive a call from me on Monday. Thank you. Thank you very much. Let's see if uh, Luisa Oyarzun doesn't die before they uh, mockingly uh, continue to call and pass the uh, uh, bucket around and say that uh, the documents were lost, uh, the Medicaid is lost, the Social Security was lost, the, compu the computers where they have the information are lost, or something like that. So illegal aliens can continue to benefit and live like kings in the United States. Uh, benefiting from uh, citizens like Luisa Oyarsson and probably you tomorrow.